that button. Oh my goodness, hello, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Jesse and Raina and Fear and Frames and Mons and Voodoo and Fluffy. Good afternoon, Teresa. Hello, Fork Sniffers. A pleasure, as always. Petty, hello, Jack, hello, Voodoo, hello, Amanda, Jangle, <laughs> Cat at Sunrise every time. Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, depending on where you are on this beautiful planet. Thank you so much for joining me for yet another ad hoc live stream. Happy Sunday, everybody. Well, happy Sunday for me. Happy Saturday for those of you on the other side of the planet. I hope you're all doing well. Howdy, Olga. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Maggie, thank you for being here for five months. I appreciate it. Maggie says, five months. Whoa. Hi, Zach. Hi, Maggie. <laughs> Lovely to see you. I hope you're having a great day. Um, Hippiest, uh, Jane Fonda and the Twi Twinks. I don't know why I want to say Jane Fonda and the Twix, like the candy. <laughs> it's a better name, though. The Twinks, that is. Thank you all so much for being here. Uh, I know I've been away for a couple of days. My apologies. I've been busy. But we're here on Sunday. I've got some meal prep on. We're going to watch some nonsense stories while that's happening. I've also got uh, laundry happening all at the same time. Multitasking queen. Um, we're going to be watching Miss Voodoo Beauty and the one, the only, the iconic and incomparable, sure, Miss Amberlynn Reid. Today we're going to catch up with Foodie's Nonsense. Turns out she's not back in Kuwait, surprising absolutely no one because I'm late to the party as usual. Fork Sniffers, thank you for being here for 13 months. Fork Sniffers says, happy weekend, Poppy. Happy weekend to you, mate. Thank you for being here. And Mediocrity, hello, thank you for being here for 11 months as well. Mediocrity says, so happy to catch a live. Happy weekend, everyone. Happy weekend. Um, yeah, a little bit of a different time for everybody instead of like four o'clock in the morning for a lot of people. So anyway. Oh my God, BB, hi. You were chaperoning a dance? Oh, cool. Oh, a prom. Oh, how fun. Oh, a prom. Was there, a, was there a king and a queen, or are we just doing monarchs now? Or does everyone get a crown? Everyone deserves a crown. Um, <laughs> good to see you, Vivi. Uh, yeah, so today we're going to catch up with Foodie, uh, her two most recent recorded pieces of content, which were, I spent a day in a hospital, and then Barbarito had <laughs> a Chipotle mukbang. Now, forgive me if I'm incorrect, these were uploaded from what I can see two days apart. I don't know, we'll get into it about it when we talk about the neurovirus and whether or not it is actually a stomach flu that she's suffering from or something more serious, um, probably related to her supremely high blood sugar, but we'll talk about it when we get there. We're also going to um, catch up with Miss Amberlynn Reed and her most recent upload, which has nobody interested in it, uh, called This Is Why It's Hard To Lose Weight, The Weight I've Gained, and Babysitting. So we're just going to be talking about our health for the entire thing um, and some babysitting. So that'll be fun. Mama Bear, thank you for the super chat. Lovely. Good to see you. Mama Bear says, one week until my Hawaiian holidays. Ooh, grateful for shenanigans to take my mind off the weight. Well, fingers crossed the week goes quickly for you, mate. And I hope you have a fabulous time um, on holiday. Are you going Are you going hiking? Are you taking an, a leaf out of Anna's book and going up the mountains? Let me know. Um, <laughs> Annie with an L, hello. Lovely to see you, love. I hope you're having a fabulous weekend. Uh, it's always a pleasure. Thank you for being here for 38 months. Annie says, hi, good afternoon to you during my evening. Hi, BB. <laughs> Hey Annie, good afternoon slash good evening. I hope you're having a great day. Um, and I hope you had a nice weekend. Hellfire, thank you for being here for 19 months as well. Hellfire says, happy time zone everyone. Happy time zone indeed, Hellfire. So with that, all of that being said, the beard. Oh, it's a little, the beard's a little, um, it needs a deep condition. You know, it's a little um, dry. Is dry the right word? It's a little dry. It needs a deep condition. Um, so, also, hi, my name's Zach, lovely to meet you if you're new, and thank you very much for returning. If you are coming back, I'm not a mental or physical healthcare professional, just a guy who loves some weight, talks about things on the internet, and watches way too much of too many people. Also, not here to bully, shame, hate, harass, or humiliate, just here to talk about the produced and montage content that we see here on this platform, because it's all about what choices, choices about what we say, choices about what we put on the internet, choices. Also, today, I'm choosing to film during the day, so hopefully I don't get attacked by moths and bugs. Uh, let's get started with I Spent the Day in Hospital. This is, of course, the one, the only, the incomparable and incomparable Miss Foodie Beauty. 1.25. Let's go there. Let's start there. Anyway, how have you all been? Tell me stories. Scratchy. It's not shay. It's not scratchy. Like it's not. It's soft, but it's just. It could use. It needs some oil in it. You know. It needs a deep condition. Some oil, and probably a bit of a trim. Because like I've got. I'm trimmed. Up, trimmed under the neckline, pretty consistently. But like across the cheek line, over the mustache line, and like over the lip. Because otherwise, I'm just eating my own hair. You know. And I've grown past that. To be fair. So. Let's go! Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> oh, somebody very nice. No idea, but that sounds fun. <laughs> oh, Canada, Ugh. our home and busy land. Get a cameo now while I'm in Canada while you can. Hold on, I just... Why would you choose that? She's... She... This... She's out here looking like Kirby. <laughs> that is a 
of you who don't know, Kirby is a Nintendo proprietary video game character that's essentially just a pink blob with arms and feet. And it likes to eat pretty much everything. But she's fully out here looking like Kirby. That's wild. That's crazy. <laughs> Easy land. Get a cameo now. While I'm in Canada, while you can. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Oh, thank you so much for having us. Today we are starting with a random mini- oh, I've got to check that volume. Sorry, chat. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Travel vlog to upstate New York. Low BMI voice ASMR. Yeah, just because you're self-aware. Particular. I mean, she's not self-aware. She's just aware of what everyone else has to say. Messina. First, her influencer voice. Hi, can I have can I have two large cheeseburger meals? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My thank you for the super chat. My says hi, Gorge. Was working through your back backlog and heard about your disdain with black coffee and condensed milk. Please give it a try. I promise it's really good. That you must be like deep in the uh, archives there. <laughs> My, I I don't think. I don't think I hate it. It's just because. Condensed milk is so sweet. And in my mind, I think condensed... Like, you say condensed milk, I think caramel. You know? Nah, not... Not condensed milk. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat. First, we had to pass through the Aquasasne Mohawk <laughs> Reserve, though, and then cross a bridge to get to the USA border. Okay. We've been here before. I remember when she got locked out of Canada because of COVID. She had to stay in that motel room that had blood on the walls. Ah, the memories. Good times. <laughs> she was very mad at Justin Trudeau. Very mad. We are Nintendo proprietary today. I'm pretty sure this is Wii music in the background. Kabira, thank you for being here for 14 months. Kabira says, coffee talk. I got a boba coffee. It was amazing. That sounds amazing. Was it the pearls that were amazing? Or was it like a milk coffee with like boba pearls? Because I can get behind that. Like, um, what is it? Brown sugar boba. Like, talk about skyrocketing your blood sugars, but delicious. Which trip, chat, you'll be able to help me remember this. Which trip was it that Chantal decided to cross the, cross the border without the passport? That wasn't... Was that the Sonic trip? She told us about it in one of her pieces of content. I can't remember. Anyway, she was giving lip to the, um, to the border agent, and I didn't think that was a very smart idea. Okay, we made it through. That, it was the Sonic video, somebody? I thought so. She just said, give me a glizzy. Give me a hot, wet glizzy. Make it 10 inches or whatever Sonic makes. It was Sonic. Got it. Noted. Thank I you. I had no specific reason to come here today. I just like checking it out every few years to see if anything has changed. But I think she wanted Sonic. I also love driving around to nowhere and anywhere at any given time. She wanted a big juicy hot dog real bad. Question for Americans. Is Dollar General <laughs> like a really good dollar store? All right, so we have here a little shopping mall with a Chinese buffet, a cinema, a big- I'm sorry, are we- no, ma'am, I'm gonna have to ask for just a slight amount of energy from you in these pieces of content, because we're just- we're just at a shopping center. Do we have a reason to be here? Lots. Is it the buffet? Hmm, interesting. Maybe it's GameStop. All right, so this is what's playing at this cinema. Uh-huh. Is this old movies? I can't tell. Um, no, these are mostly new movies. I think you might be getting confused with Ghostbusters from the the pre-turn of the millennia because they didn't really label that one very well. I really want to see Godzilla vs. Uh, X-Kong, but I haven't seen the one before. But I did see Godzilla... Is it King of the Universe? The one with God Godiva? No, that's something different. Ghidorah, that's it, not Godiva. So I didn't notice this until it was too late, but the crappy gas station car charger I purchased wasn't working and oh therefore no. wasn't charging my phone this whole time. So at some point- This is why you always take a little battery pack with you. Professional YouTuber, come on now. 
Uh, Katie Bird, hello, welcome to the channel and welcome to Popstar. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Everyone say hi to Katie Bird. Thanks for joining, mate. I appreciate it. My battery died, and that's why the vlog of Messina was no more. But I didn't want to waste the whole trip, so I'm still sharing. Oh, uh, Sky, we just uh, started. Also, hi. Also, Polter, hello. Clips I have. Sorry, guys. Yes, the one with Mothra. Anyways, anyways, unfortunately, things recently have taken a bit of a toll for the worst, <gasps> health wise. Oh, no. Shocking. Turn volume up, but headphones are best. All right, chat, you heard her. Put your headphones on. I'll try um, to bump her up. So, as you can see, I'm in the ER beezing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I I need to take this out of... I need to take this situation in uh, vacuum. Because, like, seeing Foodie laying in, a, in an ER bed complaining about shitting herself... Yeah, that timing's right. Um... <laughs> Is not a shock to anyone. But also, gal, you don't need to make content in here. You can go and sit us in the car and tell us this story. We don't need to be... We don't need to be making use of the socialised healthcare system that is Canadian ERs the way that you do and making content in here. We could... No. <laughs> we could not. Voodoo, thank you for the super chat. Voodoo says, The theories are that she was with Pete since she kept saying we and allegedly you could hear him. Oh, I think I saw that um in the doom scrolling on the Twitters. Right, Voodoo. Possibly. I mean, Chantal was probably getting pretty bored in Canada and I could 100% see her going to bug Pete's into a day trip to the US. I guess the big question there would be like whether or not Pete's has his passport. Because I, cause I don't know if he could cross over without the passport. That would be a pretty like definitive way to say whether or not he was there. But I mean, she's a, she already admits to still talking to Pete's, even though considering everything that she said about, you know, her current situation, she probably shouldn't be. But who knows? I mean, I definitely think that they've met up and hang out, hung out. I mean, there was the story about how she used to... He, Pete's had said that Foodie was border hopping to re, renew her tourist visa, and that came from a conversation between Pete's mum and Chantal, so I'm imagining they saw each other at that point in time too. Maggie, thank you for the super chat. Maggie says, I have six days and one exam left oh, of the didactic, di didactic, didactic portion of pharmacy school. Oh, cool. I have no idea what that is, but pharmacy school sounds hard. Uh, you have no idea how much studying you have done with me <laughs> these months. Thank you. Pleasure, mate. Thanks, Maggie. Um, best of luck for your final final exam. One more exam and your final week. And please congratulate yourself with a treat because you're going to do great. Thanks for the super chat. Um, I have norovirus or the... Um... Oh, the lecture part. <laughs> That bad stomach flu, the okay. highly contagious okay. one. Okay, so she's saying neurovirus slash stomach flu. Got it. Or the, um... Yulia, thank you for the super chat as well. Yulia says, Poppy, did you ever talk about where your channel name came from? I have a couple of times, yeah. So way, way back, um, like, in April 2020, I started up the channel because I was just like, oh, I, like, I have a whole heap of time and um, I'm going to take, like, old... I really like old, like, Pulp Fiction um, stories and comics and things like that. And I was like, oh, wouldn't it be fun to, like, take those those images and stills and, like, put voices to them and do all of that? And then I got sucked into watching Chantel and Ambie for a hot minute and then I um, took control of my health. And then in September I came online and of that same year and started... I just used the same channel name and just started talking about these nincompoops. <laughs> it's not very deep. It was pulpy from pulp, pulpy, like, comics. Um, and stories like um and uh, syntax was just because i wanted to find another word for like language communication words etc that bad stomach flu a highly contagious one i don't know where i got it i hope i never get it again so if it's neurovirus which i'm still chat let you let me know what do you think it is just just type it in the chat do you think it's do you think it's neurovirus or do you think it's something connected to one of her <laughs> one of her many comorbidities? Because I think the bird gang out there are saying no to neurovirus. I think she's lying because she also lies. She always lies. She told us she was moving back to Canada, and the next day literally told us she was moving back to Kuwait. So she's a known liar, Miss Liar Liar Pants on Fire. Faking because of her scamming. Well, yeah, I mean. 
I I think that she's probably in the hospital because she's feeling as terrible as she did back when she had a 23 reading on her blood glucose, diabetes. I think it's diabetes. I don't... It might be neurovirus, but I would be shocked if she had such an episode as this and, like, her mum or whoever she's staying with also didn't have it. Pete's didn't have it. Like, she could have gotten it from an airport and she could have got it from the flights and stuff, but I, I personally think it's probably the unmanaged, untreated type 2 diabetes. It is the worst illness, I swear. It's, it's disgusting. So I became severely dehydrated. Maybe the C. diff has returned. And so I... <laughs> Marissa, that's a really good point. Chantel's nearly shit herself from diarrhea before and didn't go to hospital. <laughs> Why now? That's sick about... I don't know, maybe three days ago? I don't remember exactly when. A few days ago, and I woke up in the middle of the night and I had to throw up. I understand. I also understand that Chantel has a list of, like, other issues that are going on. I don't know if a ter if a bad stomach bug would be enough to send me to the ER. On its own. On its own. If I also had untreated, unmanaged type 2 diabetes and an enlarged heart, severe, extreme, non-alcoholic, fatty liver disease, two pulmonary embolisms, etc, etc, etc. Um, yeah, maybe then I'd go, but yeah, you're right. I think that, you know, Chantel's, Chantel's gut biome has been a, just a disaster zone for so many years. I don't think that, I don't think that this would be a regular gut bug kind of thing, you know? Sarah, hello, thank you for the super chat. Sarah says, Corvids, love to all the burbs. Oh, well, they're, they are coring their love back, Sarah. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. TMI, by the way. And then... She went for the saltines. The other other end, diarrhea. Yeah. Severe diarrhea. So vomiting, diarrhea, muscle weakness, just um, fatigue. She, for someone who's suffering with neurovirus, a stomach flu, has been shitting and puking her guts up. Um, and is complaining about muscle fatigue and, or muscle tiredness and fatigue. She seems awfully, like, chipper in this piece of content. Right? Like, do this afterwards. Lies. Yeah, Mary, I think lies. And I'm very dehydrated. My sodium and, um, the chloride, I don't know. My electrolytes were bad. I couldn't... Sodium chloride? I don't think it's... I don't think it's sodiums and chlorides. Oh, well, maybe it is, actually. Keep enough water in. I don't know. Like, fluids in. At the rate they were going out. It's bad. Yeah, that screams diabetic episode. No? Right? It's bad. Don't come near me. You'll catch it. <laughs> anyway, just a quick update. Um, I'm doing all right, other than that. I don't think I could hold a camera up to my face after I'd been dispelling enough liquids that I couldn't refill them in time. Do you know what I mean? Um, you know. Oh no, the arm cuff thing. It hurts. The blood pressure cuff. Let's see what my blood pressure is. Blood pressure is 109 over 69. Okay, here's the, here's the thing for me, and I'm going to have to ask anybody who has any idea about anything medical, because you know I don't, certainly not a professional. So don't listen to anything I have to say. 109 over 69 falls into, like, regular blood pressure territory. Chantelle has an enlarged heart. Chantelle is also... I don't know, the last, the last time she told us it was like 380 pounds, but whatever. And five foot one. How's, how's that, how's that happening? How's that, how's that working? Like, oh, and the enlarged liver. Yep, that one as well. I just don't, I, I would, I would maybe... <laughs> I would either maybe get a second reading or question what other things are happening inside of the physicality to affect the, the blood pressure in that way. Because that's wild. 
No offense, Chantal. This is not meant to be an offense. Like, this is not, this is just a curious thing of like, how's the biology of that working? The birds are sending me signals. Oh, the dehydration would lower it as well. That's true. That's true. Probably a lot of things. Like, you'd have to make sure the cuff fits, You like, make sure the reading's correct, making sure she's not, like, laying on it weird. Yeah, there's a whole heap of stuff. Interesting. Anyway. Yellow. I don't know what's going on. Anyways. Yeah, Paxi's. That's a good point. In this video, she's about to say, Paxi says, if she's stressed enough to raise her blood sugar, then this reading doesn't make sense at all. No, if, you're, if your doctor tells you your stress has increased your blood sugar, you're probably expecting you to have high blood pressure to go along with that, right? Right? Crazy. Um, P-Day, lovely to see you. Thank you for being here for 15 months, mate. P-Day says, I heard six bags of fluid equals 475 pounds of weight. That would make sense. That would make sense. I mean, I have, I know, I know that fluids, like, fluids going in are based on general, like, height and weight stuff, so, which makes sense because your weight is obviously impacted by how much fluid is in your body. Um, so that kind of makes sense. Wow, that means she, that means that's a hundred. Like, if you based it on that requirement, you'd say at least a hundred pounds difference to the last time she weighed in. She sure looks the same. Not that I ever comment on that, but you know, you know that's curious. Maybe it's a lie. So I gotta get a whole bunch of fluids. Um, going to the bathroom is torture because I have to unplug everything and take this thing with me into the bathroom. Oh, I'm tired. Are you? All the time. Why are you filming? I'm just trying to get better. <laughs> and then we should be able to do a bit of beezing. Yeah, I'm very dizzy. I'm just weak. They want me the last time I had a terrible flu, and I know neurovirus is slightly different, but the last time I had a really bad stomach flu, it was like four days of, like, very little eat, lots of drink, lots of motion, sleep. I try to tolerate food. I haven't eaten in... Like, not neurovirus skinny legend as the caption. Get out of here. Since being sick, pretty much, I tried having like an apple because I can't drink. I don't know where people come with up with like ginger ale soda when you're sick. There's nothing. Oh, ginger ale is really good for like settling the stomach, right? That's why. That's why you get suggested like if you're in a car trip and you get nausea or car sickness or anything or like seasickness, you take take ginger because it helps settle the stomach. I think I want less than soda. Um, my wedding ring fell off in the shower. That's because I'm like, I'm being... In when I heard this, I thought she was setting it up for her losing her second wedding ring. <laughs> but maybe not. Because she shows it off in the next piece of content. Guinea queen from the norovirus. <laughs> I had to do some cameos from my hospital bed. Fun times. Anyway... Not fun. I don't know. You, did you guys get the gastro this this year? I haven't had that in forever. Oh my gosh. Seriously, it is the worst, man. So, it feels like a hangover times 10. That's what it feels like. Ew. S skinny legend, yeah. Budgie Mum says, sorry, nobody can eat a burrito bowl after neurovirus like she can, so not buying this. So yeah, I didn't want saltines and ginger ale. Like, complaining about like saltines and ginger ale straight into a fucking like tortilla chip covered burrito bowl. I want and I'm sure in that burrito bowl she asked for extra guac and extra sour cream. Juicy fruit because I was so thirsty. Anyway, my blood sugar's through the roof even though I didn't eat. The doctor's like, well, it's probably be because of the stress of being sick, and if you have fuck off, it's not because of that. It's because of the unmanaged diabetes. What are you talking about? Like, you have literal blood crystals in your bloodstream right now. Like, your veins are filled with syrup, ma'am. That's why your blood sugar levels are so high. Not because you're fucking stressed. Anyway, Adam, my blood sugar's through the roof, even though I didn't eat. <laughs> it's fine. What's her beast with diabetes? Because she th last time she cured it with cocaine and Ozempic. And this time she's trying to cure it by just not just ignoring it. The doctor's like, well, it's probably be because of the stress of being sick and if you have, like, a virus or infection, you know? Anyway, I just wanted to update you guys. I'm sorry, but I don't know what 
what will be going on, how long I'll be here for. Turns out, like, two days. <laughs> She's Dr. Foodie. Yeah, Dr. Armchair over here. In case the doctor's coming. <laughs> yeah, so I keep coming and checking my electrolyte levels, my blood sugar and stuff oh, like that. Oh, you know if the nurses and doctors hadn't been coming in frequently, she'd have, she would have been live streaming from an ER hospital bed. Ugh. Like that. You so. know it. She would have been asking for food and shelter. I'll keep you guys updated. Sorry for the bad quality video, but... <sighs> Cat, you think? Yeah, I think she's lying too. I agree. I just want to sleep till this is over. Honestly, it's the worst feeling. Peach cobbler, lovely to see you. That's such an interesting question. If her sugar was that high, wouldn't she smell it in her pee too? I mean, yeah. Yeah, I think... But we all think that Chantel's kind of nose blind. She doesn't smell herself. I don't think she smells herself. I don't think she could smell her pee either. So it's all over her hands normally, so... You know, good question though. I can't even think of food. Yeah, I know you're thinking, well, this is just what you need. <sighs> Maybe. Yeah, my wedding ring fell off in the shower. I'm skinny now. <laughs> I'm definitely not putting any crap in my body after this, uh, the way I feel. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> I don't think I can tolerate it, honestly. They want me to try to tolerate something before I leave here. So who knows what that will be? I can't. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Look, I'm sure if the doctors or nurses walked in with, like, a Nashi burger, I think Chantel could, could manage to stomach that. Yeah. She's been known to throw one back. Big Mac, hello, speaking of, thank you for the super chat. Big Mac says, it could be from infection. It's not anxiety. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's not, this is, the story of neurovirus isn't shoulda, coulda, woulda. But she is trying to find something that's convenient and easy to explain, I think. Because I, I... Like, if this is not... If this ER visit wasn't based on... Also, who took her here? Did she take an ambulance? Or did, like, her mum drop her off? Like... How much of the... How much of the tax-paying medical system is Chantel making use of during this trip? Real question. Hmm. Pay for norovirus. Ew. Oh, she drove to the ER? Why? <laughs> hey, DX, good to see you. She drove to the ER. Can't be fucking asked to stand in line at the clinic. Can't go to urgent care. Actually, wouldn't they have sent her to urgent care if it wasn't an emergency? I keep getting confused with all of that. Do you think... I don't know. I think that Chantel just comes into the ER and they take a look at her and go... Yeah, okay. Well, I mean... If we look at your history or your vitals, maybe there's there's reason for it to be emergency instead of urgent. Oh my god, why? I have to have my own washroom because it's contaminated. Someone's asked, how do you even drive with the stomach flu? I don't know, she seems pretty cognizant here. Cognizant? Cognizant? Cognitive. I need it from, my, from me because it's so highly contagious. Anyway, I'm gonna try to rest. And, um... I'll just see you guys when I see you, I guess. I don't know. I'll try to update you guys as I can. Um, She's very lucky that she was in Canada during this, huh? Because what would have happened if she was in Kuwait and this happened? She might have gotten into a hospital, I guess. See you later. Bye. Okay, bye. So they ended up having to get... Oh, I see all of the fluid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Giving me a total of six of these fluid bags for uh, rehydration. It was right. rough. Hi guys! I just want Jesus, who is this? Who is this? Ma'am, you literally left the, this ugly fucking Earthworm Jim hoodie. I hate it so much. Um, this hoodie needs to go. This hoodie's the new yellow dress. It needs to go. It needs It's pilling, it's faded, it's disgusting, and I, I, I'm I not one for waste, but tear it up and turn it into rags, mama, because I, I hate this thing so much. Um, with this diagonal zip, what the fuck is going on? I'm, I know she's going to tell us, but I'm assuming she just left, came, came out and like parked up somewhere by the hospital to film this. Wash your face. Wash your face. Everybody wash your face. Of these fluid bags for uh, rehydration. It was rough. Oh, somebody. It's her, um, it's her hoodie. It looks like, looks like an earthworm in the front. Hi guys. I just wanted to give an update basically on, you know, 
I left kind of hanging in the ER, so I have been- You really didn't, because this is all one piece of content. I think she intended to make two vlogs. Discharge, I was discharged in like the middle of the night, and I actually feel a lot better today. So basically, I was just really dehydrated, like a lot. So basically, they gave me like um, a few liters of fluid anyways. I've been drinking, I picked up some Gatorade, but it's like, it's like a healthy Gatorade, because when I'm ill, Gatorade is like, real Gatorade is too artificial for me. And that's why I don't like ginger ale either when I'm sick. So it's actually only got like a- Damn, that ring is actually a really good indicator of how swollen she gets, huh? Yeah, wow. I think two or three carbs and one gram of sugar, which is also good for diabetics, you know? And it's made with like real, I think it's like watermelon juice and like um, salt, like sea salt and like more natural ingredients. There's oh, shut up about natural ingredients. <laughs> still a few that are a little iffy, but it's for the most part, they're very- Ma'am, you're drinking fucking Gatorade. Just like go, turn turn the back of the bottle. You want to you want to eat a fucking like Whole Foods only. I remember when Chateau used to lecture her audience about. Oh, I only eat things that I can pronounce on the back of the ingredients packet. If it has something that I can't pronounce, I won't eat it. Um, that was during some fat diet. But it's a fucking idiot. <laughs> this is the same person who smashes nashies. She's a mashy snasher. Uh, they're a lot more natural, let's just say. Sure. So I was discharged in the middle of the night, which, um, you know, they asked me if I was okay, and I said, yeah, I can drive. <laughs> That's about it. Today I'm feeling a lot better. I think the hydration really helped. And Wash your face. And honestly, I was, um, I'm, I'm really craving, like, pickle juice, which also is apparently good for, like, electrolyte replenishment uh, because of the high sodium content. But, like, I was just, like, craving going into, like, you know, a Canadian grocery store, like, no frills, and just grabbing, like, no name brand big jar of dill pickles and just downing the juice like having an emergency jar of pickles in my bag go for it mary you know what's really good soda water and pickle juice it's quite i know it sounds nasty but it's really it's very refreshing it is it actually reminds me a lot of gatorade it's really good that's not a bad idea anyway i should start a pickle company who am i kidding i can't even get up before noon on a good day or before three well sometimes yes I've been sleeping a lot. Wait, Chantel, but what happened to the, like, the five times a day prayer times that you would have needed to be awake for? What happens to, what happened to being awake all day and fasting all day back in Kuwait? I'm assuming that was a lie. Lies everywhere? Hmm. Okay, great. More lies. Like, for days, I've just been resting in that because this flu just makes you feel like you've been hit by a mock truck, like, 18-wheeler. So, yeah. Fun, fun. Anyway, um... I'm sticking around for a little while because I had some plans. Oh, she's so loud. I'm so sorry, chat. Hold on, I'll fix that. Plans that were like pre-booked with like, you know, um, friends and family. Bullshit. Bullshit. Chat, can I get some lies in the chat? Can I get some liar liar pants on fires? I do love pickle juice DX. Although I'm I'm very I'm I'm a very soft boy. I can't have the chili stuff. It needs to be like the dill. Like just this regular dill. Um, liar, liar, pants on fire, Marie. What did you say? I had some plans that were like pre-booked with like, you know, um, friends and family. Yeah, I have friends. You guys are always shocked by that. What a fucking lie. What an absolute lie. Oh, I had things pre-booked with friends and family. Then why did you put out a video with no audio, just text saying I'm moving back to Kuwait? Oh, but you guys, I didn't say when. I didn't say when. And that's not a lie. It's just an omission of fact. I guess truth, an omission of information. Um, no, it's not. It's not a lie. It's not. It's not a lie. It's not a lie if I change my mind. I'm just changing my changing my mind, you guys. My pants are on fire. I mean, not on fire. Don't have many, but <laughs> actually, I do have a lot. I just don't keep in touch with a lot of them. So yeah, but also, ma'am, no, you don't. Sorry. Uh, you may have acquaintances. You may have had people in your life who know of you, sure, but no. I have some things to take care of, some medical appointments and things like that. So, um, I will probably like do some live streams. I'm not sure, but I'll. I thought you were moving back to Kuwait. Do some more videos for you guys, more <laughs> vlogs. But I am still going back to Kuwait. She's so busy. She's got booked plans in with friends and family. Don't you know? Busy. <laughs> and um, so I'm just like rearranging my life right now, basically, and I'm just overwhelmed and. Just having the personal space, like not uploading as frequently is like really helping. So I appreciate your guys' patience. I know a lot of you look forward to and depend on my videos. I don't depend on shit from you, ma'am. You are a, a dumpster fire on the internet that we get a laugh out of. Calm down. Depend. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Fuck.
depend. So I'll be back whenever I can. <laughs> I know a lot of you depend on my content. No, that's not the right word. See you guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Mary. All right, let's t let's catch up with Chantal sucking on her fingers um, with Burberito Canadian Chipotle mukbang. Yay! Canadians on the chat, please feel free to let me know whether or not you enjoy Barbarito. I enjoy saying it. It's like Barbaran. Uh, let's go. Hey, you dear, just the first one from Foodie. We're catching up with the second one now. Hello, Foodie Beauties. <laughs> Hi there. Want to wish someone oh, a happy so birthday? Loud. Sorry, or sorry. give a unique special sorry. occasion gift? Or, 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 if you just want to have a personalized video from me to you, <laughs> <D> disgusting, <laughs> that you can keep forever and ever and ever, get a cameo now. Okay. All right. Chantel, catch us up. Ooh. Birds. Hi, guys. On today's episode, no, we are going no, to no, enjoy no, a beautiful no, no, Canadian no, no, nature no, no, intro here, and then I'm going to show you a special B Day gift. And then. Is the B Day gift sh shoveling food in your face? Eri, thank you for being here for 23 months. Eri says, birthday live with Poppy and chat. Yay. Oh my goodness, Eri, happy birthday. Chat, can you all wish Eri T a very happy birthday? Thank you for being here for 23 months, mate. I hope you have a fabulous birthday. Then we will... BB, yes, she's in Canada. She's still in Canada. So she got back to Canada and then told us, hey, I'm in Canada after her seven-day strike, her seven-day ban. And then a day later put out a video saying, I'm moving back to Kuwait. The Middle East vibe is just better and I can't live here anymore. And then she went silent for a couple of days, and then she was in the ER with neurovirus, apparently. But I think it was more related to diabetes, personally. Um, and then a day after being in the... Uh, well, a day or two after being in the ER for um, the gut flu, she decided to eat a burrito bowl. Which is what we're watching now. <laughs> but she's still in Canada. Yes. Get lunch and talk a bit about the PayPal scam or no scam ordeal. Yalla, let's go. Yalla, let's go. Oh, God. This is... So I just wanted to share one of my favorite birthday gifts that I received, and it's a Alice in Wonderland, sorry, I forgot the name, bag, like a homemade, I guess, kind of bag that you can put. Okay, first of all, I don't think this is homemade. Second of all, I'm very confused, because this this quote does not strike me as one from Alice in Wonderland. I'm not, I mean, I it's been a while since I read the book, um, and certainly a while since I've watch the Disney animated film, but I'm pretty sure this quote is not from Alice in Wonderland. Also, why is the... Okay, there's only one rabbit in Alice in Wonderland, right? Is there one rabbit or two? Because there's the I'm late, I'm late I'm, uh, for a very important date guy in the bottom right corner here. But who's this? Who's this rabbit? Why is he saying eat me? What? <laughs> There are two rabbits? Is the second rabbit the one that you have to eat? The March Hare? Oh, is the March Hare the one you have to eat? There's a rabbit and a hare. So the, is the, do you have to eat the March Hare? Is that how she gets bigger again? Because the drink me potion is this one. Why the fuck does it say drink me over here? That's a mushroom and a key. What is, what is all of this? <laughs> What is all of this? It was in the chapter Live, Laugh, Love. <laughs> the rabbit doesn't say eat me, it's the cake. Which part here is this? Are these two red things meant to be a cake? I thought this was like a speech bubble. <laughs> right. Well, okay. We're learning things today. <laughs> are those meant to be roses? Surely not. Hold on. Then... She eats a cookies in the made for TV movie to grow. Is this meant to be imagery from the made for TV movie with a Winnie the Pooh quote? <laughs> oh boy, this is no, this is this is bad. I would have I would have taken this pencil case with a zipper situation type of deal without all of this crap on the front of it but turn it oh you know what turn it inside out turn it into a pencil case be done with it things inside like a cosmetic bag or something and i can never have too many of those <laughs> i all i see is pencil case <laughs> especially when traveling i always you know need an extra one usually for things that i buy while i'm here <laughs> graphic design is this bag's fashion 
So it says, always remember, you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think, and loved more than you know. That's so cute. And it says, eat me, drink me. <laughs> I was wondering. Why does it say eat me, drink me? That's the thing that fucking sends me. Brilliant. I love it. So for me, these thoughtful gifts are actually... Thoughtful? <laughs> Ma'am. More valuable than like a bunch of money. For me, it's not like what you spend. It's the thoughtfulness you put in. I don't know. Is this thought... Like, Chantal has never been an Alice in Wonderland girly. Or a Winnie the Pooh girly. Does she strike me as the type of person to have this type of, quote, like, laminated on a kitchen somewhere? No, not not really. Um, no, this is not... This is not Chant Chantal Coded. Chantal Coded would be if this were a pencil case with, like... Like, the evil queen's face on it. You know, that kind of, like, Disney proprietary. Yeah. Or, like, Beetlejuice, because she's been big on Beetlejuice. By the way, oh, BB, I don't know if you're still here, but I had, um, Dead Mum stuck in my head for, like, the last three days. It's so good. I've introduced, like, six people to the Beetlejuice musical. They had no idea. Then I was like, did you know there's a Mean Girls musical as well? They said no. And I was just like, ah! There's this one song sung by the the actor who plays Damien called Stop that we have to watch right now because there's also a tap piece in it. Anyway, what was I saying? <laughs> uh, Welfare Girl. Hello, thank you for being here for 14 months. Welfare says, uh, you can put things inside like a bag or something. <laughs> Got to get that on a shirt. <laughs> thank you for being here. Did you see the new Beetlejuice preview? No, I have not. Movie movie version was bad. Oh, I didn't see I didn't see the movie. No, no, no. I was talking about stage musical. I didn't I have not seen the new Mean Girls movie slash musical. I'm not I don't know. I don't think I'm ready for that. You know? I think it's gonna fall into the bag of cats. The bag of cats is just the terrible musical movie remakes that have occurred in the last twenty years. It's mostly just a bag of DVDs that are of cats. Uh, Polter, thank you for the super chat. Polter says, oh my god, been obsessed with Has Been Hotel, listen daily. I'm glad! It's such a good album. It's so good. It came on a mix the other day and I was just like, oh, that's right, I should probably go and go back and listen to that. Oh, classic. It's so good. I really want that as a live stage adaptation. I don't know if it'll happen because there's a lot going on, but you can hope. Anyway, back to Foodies Nonsense. Cats was so bad, BB. Cats was the only musical that I actually stopped midway, and I was like, I can't watch this. I can't. Even Les Mis I was able to get through. And I like Les Mis, but it is also long, so I could understand getting halfway through and kind of turning it off. But Cats was, as soon as, what's his, who's that terrible British, Matthew Corden? Is that his name? Matthew Corden? That terrible British late night show host that it, did that carpool karaoke? That guy. Anyway, as soon as he came on, I was like, I can't. I can just... James Corden, that's it. I just can't. Oh, boy, that was bad. That was that was bad cats. And even T-Swift, look. You can only do so much with cats, but... It was bad. Bad cats. What are you thinking of you as priceless? Well, I wanted to... He's very rich and very unpopular. <laughs> Fair. Which is a shame, because I could tolerate him and Gaz and Stacey. Gaz and Stacey, for those of you who don't know, was a BBC kind of comedy sitcom based in Wales, I think. Um, Gaz and Stacey? Was it Gaz and Stacey? Anyway, that was quite good. That had James Corden in it, and he was playing, like, the the bumbling best friend. And that was really fun. Um, but then he decided to... I don't know, not, not be funny anymore. ...to eat out here, but as you can see, it's... Gavin and Stacey, not Gaz and Stacey. Thank you, Circus. Hi, guys. Welcome back to... You can tell I'm bad with names today. <laughs> Gavin and Stacey was good despite James Corden. That's true, Voodoo. That's very true. Actually, it, it did have some heavy hitters from Comedy Land. Who was the dad? Was it Stacey's? No, I think it was Gavin's dad. He's quite famous as a comedian. I've seen him on things. Anyway, sorry. Back to you, Foodie. I'm just talking about better things. <laughs> But as you can see, it's raining. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have... Oh, this is loud, I'm sorry. Barbarito. Barbarito. For lunch. Ba 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 burrito. Like a Canadian Chipotle. So oh good, she's got a paper bag. Let me unpack this. Lots of napkins, which is good. 
and I thought we would just talk and uh, chit chat about some things. And okay, so she's still wearing um, yesterday's eyeliner slash mascara. Is she eating this after leaving the ER? Is everyone else getting that vibe? Yes. What's up? Did she? No, she had that terrible earthworm thing on. I think which was good. But she just hasn't washed her face in two days. Got it. Three days. Four days. A week. Whatever. And I thought we would just talk and uh, chit chat about some things, and I'll have lunch with you guys. I'm severely craving a burrito bowl. Well, holy fuck! That thing is bigger than her head. What is on that? What's the? Is it queso? Is it queso and sour cream? Fuck, that's loaded with jalapenos. Hold on, chat, chat. Picture this. You've just recovered from a week-long stomach flu slash virus, and the first thing that pops to your mind is sour cream, quesos, jalapenos. Get that shit in my guts. <laughs> it's bubble gut time. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, that would be that would be liquid. Just liquid shits. Oh. Yeah. Spicy liquid shits. Yeah. Yum. <laughs> Ma'am, eat some fiber. Get a get a broccoli. <laughs> Yum. I just like mix it around. So I got a barbacoa bowl. All the rice and everything is at the bottom. Is that is that noodles or is that cheese? Which barbacoa is marinated beef, as you know. Holy shit! What is is that noodles? No, it's carrot. Surely that's carrot. Beef, carrot, lettuce, tomato pickled onion probably or something that's all well and good but ma'am that's a whole heap of sauce on there you are you are in for a bad time <laughs> so thank you for being here for 38 months marissa says can't eat a veggie sandwich will eat this <laughs> can't, can't eat a vegetarian sandwich with cream cheese on it without like losing her bowels on the next flight can eat a bowl of essentially dressing <laughs> noted is it cheese, not carrots? I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt because I, I like to think that that's like julienne carrots or something, but it's it's probably cheese. It's probably shredded cheese. Rice, beans, extra cheese, lime creme. No, it is. You're all right. Look at that. I, I was giving this... Oh, Jesus. I was giving this bowl the benefit of the doubt because looking at that... Oh, no, I think there are carrots and cheese in there. Or maybe that's just lettuce. It is definitely not. BB says, I gotta confess, learning to be fearless has been my new thing. Really? Interesting. That's fun. What, um, what, for, for what reason? For why? For why? Miss Alexandra Rodriguez? I haven't really been keeping up with Alex because she said she wasn't making season two of, um, of, uh, Curvy Connection. That broke my heart. <laughs> Baby says she's pregnant and said they discriminated against her. They being who? Wait, who's they? Barbarito? <laughs> Interesting. Oh, Alex is pregnant? Oh, that's great. It's American orange cheese. Okay, so it's not carrot. We're on, we're off with carrots. We're on with Mug, cheese. Guacamole, jalapenos, pickled red onions. Oh, it's red onions, okay. Salsa, pico. Oh, this looks like slop. Chipotle sauce. Is there meant to be rice in this? Chat, is this burrito bowl meant to have rice in it? Or is it just cheese, beef, and just a, a handful of salad? She said the doctor was fat phobic for telling her she can't gain more than 10 pounds, and so she found a midwife. Oh, drama, baby. Oh. Pico. Chipotle sauce. So I'm not holding my breath for season two of Kirby Connection, is what you're saying. Fuck. I got these to kind of, you know, scoop it with, I guess you could say. So we're making this a meal for two now. Dig in. Fuck, this is huge. It, the weather is so bad. Oh my gosh. What the hell? I guess that's spring for you, huh? I feel like I'm having a fever dream. <laughs> oh, this also somehow feels very nostalgic. Yeah. This is... 
This is bad. Beauty bite. Also, Bismillah, excuse me. Hello, Chantal. Are we just not we're just not worrying about the Bismillah anymore? Okay. Right. That's so good. Is it? The Ariba chips are better than Doritos, I find. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, ma'am, you've got a stain. I'm pretty sure it's sour cream. Somehow you've just started eating and you've already got sour cream on your top. Great. That's so good. And what did you used to call it? Tomato paste mouth or tomato sauce mouth or whatever? You've got you've got shit in the corner of your mouths. Mouths? Mouth. Corners of your mouth. The Ariba chips are better than Doritos, I find. Great. Again, this this woman just got out of the ER that she stayed overnight in because she had a stomach flu. This is the first thing I think of when I'm sick. You know, this this and chicken soup. <laughs> this is my first, like, hefty meal since being sick. Again, okay, what happened to her love of hot, wet chicken? Where's the chicken noodle soup? She's using a burrito bowl as dip. Wild. It is wild. <laughs> I did have like... Oh no, broken chip. A pretty hefty meal actually. Yesterday. So you lied. This is not your first hefty meal. I had some birthday... I had a birthday celebration meal. What was your birthday celebration meal? What do you think her birthday celebration meal was, Chet? I had it leave. Do I eat GYG? My, the only thing I enjoy from Guzman and Gomez, and it is very much like a treat. It's a breakfast treat. Um, their breakfast burrito. Guzman and Gomez, which is GYG, is like a, a Mexican face. Uh, what, what would you compare it to? I don't know. I've never had Chipotle. It's better than Taco Bell. Anyway, um, it's, 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 it's okay, but... Their coffee is possibly the what I drink an uh, an ice long black, but on treat days I have an ice like oat latte or ice latte. Um, Guzman, I'm going on the record to say Guzman and Gomez coffee is possibly the worst tasting coffee I've ever had in Australia. If you've never had it before, try it. It's a, an experience. Um, but their breakfast burrito, their their Cali breakfast burrito, is so good. Bacon, eggs, hash brown something else in there. It's real tasty. It's real, real good. But it you do need hot sauce with it. You do. Your horse is in your coffee. It just, it's, it's really bad, baby. Like it's, it's, it's bad in the way that it's, it's meant to be strong, but it's bitter, burnt, and it tastes like chemicals. This is not a good coffee. It's not a good coffee at all. Yeah. Did I say drinking? Probably. <laughs> sick you know and uh, never my first choice for a coffee at all ever but their breakfast burrito is really good i want to drink i have gatorade fit but then again i was looking at prepping brekkie burritos for for home and i could do like a cheesy cheesy beef burrito that has like 37 grams of protein in it and they freeze really well so um, i don't know but again it's treat mornings the watermelon strawberry today yeah, it has like one sugar, three grams of carbs. Okay, 15 calories. Right, yep. Is it just because it's naturally sourced? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Gatorade, naturally sourced. Of course, it's just this, this shit, like, there's, there's a Gatorade waterfall out there. <laughs> Oh, cool. yeah. So Eid Mubarak, everyone. Uh huh. Bismillah. Who celebrated? Or who observed? Hmm. The barbacoa meat is so tender. I love it. She, okay. <laughs> She's laid down a corn chip. She's scooping burrito bowl onto the corn chip, and then she's gonna pick up the corn chip and put it in her face hole. Wait for it. <laughs> she took a mouthful of the burrito bowl 
after she'd prepped a corn chip with burrito topping. This is insane. Oh, hey, Haz, good to see you. Well, I find it, I just find it weird because she's been mukbanging and I'm, she's just stopped saying it. <laughs> I'd gotten so used to it. And sometimes Chantal would be like mid mouthful and say it. And I thought it was something that she was meant to say, but she just, she just stopped. <laughs> She's just stopped Ramadan. <laughs> or stopped fasting for Ramadan, rather. Even though she said weeks ago that she was. That's very... It's very... Look, the lies are confusing. <laughs> it's like how adults say piss mill of the children. <laughs> well, has... I mean, someone's got to remind her, right? You know? <laughs> Bye, BB. Enjoy Drag Race. I have some Oh, it's finished, of course, because she just mentioned it. I'm I'm living in I'm living in the past. Sorry, guys. Lush gift cards. <laughs> for my birthday. So I have to at some point go to Lush. Okay. And there's one in the Rito Center, I think, still, and the Saint Laurent Mall. I just I just noticed the the fingers are quite um seasoned. Seasoned pea fingers. I also think we're a little too close. I think the camera needs to be a little... Maybe she could put the camera, like, to the side a little bit more just so we didn't feel so claustrophobic. Because really, like, this is what we're watching. Like, we are very up her nostrils, you know? Yeah. She needs a dermatologist, not Lush. Well, yeah, I agree. I, I I think that she would benefit from seeing some healthcare professionals. Dermatologist is on the list, but... I'm just trying to enjoy my time here while I'm here. Also, pretty sure I can see CPAP indentations on her cheek. So this was breakfast. There it is. So this is this this seems to be pretty early in the morning. See that line there? This one here? I think that's a CPAP mark. Also, she's look she's chat, she's mean mugging you. She's mad. She, look at that. How how dare you say that? Look at she is mad at you. <laughs> Probably like 3 p.m. Well, she did mention about waking up at like midday and 3 p.m. So, yeah. I have eagle eyes. No, 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 I don't. Just, just, it's just the little things that, <laughs> that get me. I'm just like, oh, what's that? Because like if you zoom in as well, like on, on the top of the eyeliner, there's yesterday's eyeliner. So, yeah, I'm, I'm. Just just a, a very kind reminder, chat. Make sure, don't be a Chantel. Wash your face daily. Chipotle mukbangs are very popular right now. <laughs> don't sleep in makeup. And I've been... Use napkins. And seeing them, and I'm like... I'm craving that. Oh. Take it back. I'm craving that. Chat, I need you all to hear this and be disgusted with me. Oh. Uh. Hold on, I'm gonna take it back. You all can you all can watch this in the close up. I'm craving that. Oh. I'm feeling a lot better. I mean. Oh. 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 <laughs> I'm pretty much better. Oh no, look at me, I'm so helpless shoving food into my face. Oh, it's too big. Uh, bleh. Bleh. Gag. Yuck. 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 Ew. Yuck. <laughs> wow, she really smash cut all of these together, huh? I'm pretty much better. Watch this. Just watch this. Ow. Cut. Next one. Cut. Next one. Cut. Okay, so 
<laughs> that's fucking insane. I'm sorry. That's crazy. That's crazy. Why Why did you edit those pieces together? Oh, ah, uh, bleh. <laughs> Here. Jasper, thank you for being here for 17 months. Jasper says, what monometer rating was that? Oh, that was a modest, like, seven, I reckon. Yeah, it's when, when she's got sour cream dripping down her chin and she moans because she's got too big of a wad of calories in her throat. Um, Yeah, probably, like, a six or a seven, I think. Boop, thank you for being here for 20 months, mate. I appreciate it. Boop says, I'm sorry, but the cut... Back to you, base sent me. I'm glad, I'm glad you're having a laugh. Thank you for being here. <laughs> hey, Lily, good to see you. I don't even want to like. That's the money shot. Oh god. Bleh. Address drama or rumors or things like that, but. Um, I I know she's got napkins beside her, which I'm very grateful for. I hope she was using them and not like just her hand and then. Um, regarding like PayPal scamming. Sure. Do you mean scamming like lying? Because I said you're a scammer. I think the entire internet has has kind of labeled you. I mean, we've done this multiple times before. We cry for food and shelter. But Chantel, you can't just go out there and say, "Hey guys, um, a lot of you've been asking for like my PayPal and like my Cash App and things to like ways for you to support and pay um pay for my change of lifestyle because I'm moving back to Canada." Chantal sat here on multiple live streams and said, oh God, you guys, you know how expensive it is here in Canada. Like I have to set up a brand new life. Maybe we can set up like two bases. I have nothing. All I want is a bed and a charger, um, you know, but things are expensive. It's really expensive. By the way, people have been asking for my PayPal um, to be able to donate. And like, you know, I'm just going to put it down in the description and you don't have to, but people have been asking. So, you know, if you want to support me in my move back to Canada, and that's what it was. Because if you hadn't special, like, if you hadn't specified what the request for donations was for, then it would have been fine. If you'd have said, oh, I just want to, you know, if you feel like donating, if you feel like supporting me as a content creator, feel free. There's a link down the bottom. If you'd like to, you can send Super Chats, be a channel member, whatever, whatever, whatever. That's all, like, relatively nothing, right? But the moment you say, oh, it's so hard doing this thing and paying for this thing, and, you know, you can donate if you want... Like, you can if you want, but I'm doing this really big thing that's really expensive. That's a lie. And that's scamming people. Because your your intention wasn't to use that those donations to move back to Canada. You've already told us you're moving back to Kuwait. So which one is it? And also, you're a scammy liar. Fraud is a better word. That's true. And she should be familiar with fraud, because she's been frauding the Canadian tax system for years. I had Raven Moon, hello, good to see you. Hope you're having a fabulous day. Hello from Brisbane. Three people donate to me. <laughs> and I made $37. Right. So she honestly didn't get the influx of um, donations that she anticipated. It doesn't matter whether or not it's a dollar or a million dollars. Scam, fraud, scammy, fraudy, pants on fire. Which, thank you guys very much. So... We have got cream and cheese all over us. <laughs> Sour cream and regular cheese by the looks of it. End of story. I had like three people who donated. I made 30, like 37, 36, 37 dollars. That's, that's not end of story. Also, from my understanding, if people are donating to you, you have the capacity to refund the payment. Like, why didn't you just do that? Because again, people were donating to you on the pretense of you crying about having to set up an, a brand new life here in Canada because I have to take control of my health and I can't be in Kuwait to do that. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Who was stupid enough to send $37? Well, Baylo, she's saying that there were three people who donated to her. So, I mean, if you, like, her chat does have some interesting folks in it. And that's all I'm going to say. And I offered my money back, so. You offered your money back in the live stream, but I'm pretty, once again, I'm pretty sure if you take a direct payment through PayPal or whatever you use, you can, you can send it back without having to have a request for it. You can poop. If you were wanting it. So that's all I'm going to say <laughs> for that. Just to clarify. Okay. Scammer. It's kind of peaceful the rain though. Is it? Just nice. She has no conscience, does she? She has no, she doesn't, she don't give two fucks about anybody else. Because she'll say, sorry if you, uh, sorry if I offended you. Sorry if you feel offended. 
But you can go. It's fine. I'll find other audience members. And she wonders why people don't like her. It's like a taco salad, kind of. <laughs> mm, there's nothing about this that screams salad outside of the lettuce. <laughs> and even that's looking pretty. Ooh, that's a good one. Here you go. Sarah, I know you'll probably get this on the rewatch. <laughs> oh, wow. That's just... Yeah. Marissa says, she also closed her comments for a time after the PayPal scam, so even if you wanted to comment to ask for a refund, you couldn't. Yeah, she, she can't be contacted on her TikTok because that's, like, gone now, right? Her Instagram, I'm pretty sure... She never uses, and her I wouldn't trust her to open an email, so. <laughs> oh, dear. That's fun. Thanks for that, foodie. Mm. But your appetite, it does come back. <laughs> yeah, with a vengeance by the looks of it. Also, yeah, remembering when she was, like, she's been, look, to be fair, the history, and I know most of us have been here for a hot minute, the history of Chantal and people donating to her, people sending her money for many things is long and sordid. But I guess the most uh, iconic one to talk about, I guess, was the time where their power went out for, like, half a day or a day or whatever it is, and she had to come online in, to her community tab and cry for food and shelter. And this was not long after, or was it? No, it wasn't long after, I feel when she was bragging about making 20k a month and blah 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 because everybody was really confused by that her coming onto her community tab asking for financial assistance when she had just been like bragging about making all of this money on youtube it's very strange um and then before that she had people send her um donations and super chats to get her cats to the vet because we knew that had been a talking point and not actually actioned for a very long time um and then yeah, basically, Chantal was held to account on that point and said, well, no, I'm not doing it. Just take the refund. Um, and I don't think she ever actually actioned that refund. That was for... I can't remember who that was from. Vegan for Life or something? Something. Anyway. After you're not sick. <laughs> when you're sick, you're like, no, I'll never eat that. Fuck, she's a mess. You know you have a fork, right? <laughs> Might be loud because of the rain, but... I didn't even realize that. Maybe it's super loud. <laughs> oh. That's definitely going to be someone's thumbnail. I'm not sure if the redness in her cheeks is sun damage or blood pressure but considering it's also on her chin i'm going to assume it's got something to do with capillaries it doesn't matter it's just a statement of fact but she looks very different depending on where and when she's recording her yeah yeah it's not it's not great doesn't doesn't strike me as great but whatever Do you guys like pinto beans or black beans more? Oh, is that an actual question? Um, I don't know. Both beans are good. The pinto. Lily, thank you for being here for 38 months. Lily says, for the low price of $37, you can help. Oh, I can help you avoid scams. <laughs> Sign me right up, Lily. <laughs> Gotta get your vitamins in. I also should have got some hot sauce, though. Sure. Hot sauce. Yeah, hot sauce after a stomach flu. That makes fucking sense. Where it's at. <laughs> ah! Oh, dear. I have an idea. What's that? Oh, wow. Wow. 
This seems to be taking a while to get through. This is a lot of food. It's the never-ending bowl. <laughs> Well, if it helps, Anna, I don't think the bidet is set up at all. So it is just regular toilet paper at the moment. Or, like, nothing. You guys love burrito bowls? I feel like I would love this burrito bowl. This burrito bowl would feed me for, like, a day. <laughs> this is a crazy burrito bowl. I still am... I'm still yet to see a grain of rice, by the way. <laughs> just don't know what's going on here. I think she said, hold the rice, just put more sour cream in there. <laughs> so, I just want to say also that... Yes? You know, so many creators have some kind of link to a donation site, like a PayPal, Cash App, whatever. Sure, absolutely. Whatever. You know, we entertain your butts. So like, we should get... <laughs> um, we should get paid. We should get money. You do. Fuck knuckle, you do. What are you talking about? You get paid by YouTube. People people watch you. People donate to you directly. People become members. People watch your ads. That's how you get paid. <laughs> we entertain your butts. We should be paid for that. It's a privilege to watch this content, don't you know? I deserve, I deserve to be paid. I deserve payment. Who do you think you are? Who do you think I am? <laughs> How rude. <laughs> How fucking rude. How rude and out of touch. What's the word? Smug is a good word. <laughs> Audacious? Yes. Very. Entitled, Tammy. That's a good word. That was That was very close to the word I was thinking of, I think. Um, who, thank you for being here for 27 months, lovely. Who says she could always do brand deals. Oh, wait. <laughs> I mean, she could. I'm pretty sure... Didn't Coldy pay her for a while? <laughs> and then that stopped. <laughs> and that's because of her and her actions, to be fair. Fuck Knuckle, you've never heard that one before, Nikki? Well, you're welcome. <laughs> How rude. How rude to expect the people who choose to watch it. That's the crazy thing as well. That's crazy. I can't I can't stand any fucking content creator who's out here making like it's lazy content. And to be fair, like I I don't think what I do requires a large amount of effort because it absolutely doesn't. I'm literally just sitting here having a chat to you guys watching some stupid BS on the internet. Um it's not high effort like content. But imagine ha just like <laughs> to be I guess this level of entitled thinking that the people who wa choose to watch you, who choose to, because there is so much other content out there. You want to go watch someone eating junk food in a car? Fucking throw a rock, mate. You'll find a channel. Um, she's out here feeling super entitled to people's donations. That's crazy. That's why, as content creators, as anyone who decides to, like, gift you, like, the view, watching the ad, being a member, sending a super chat, whatever, like, you just, you say thank you. Because people are making that choice to do those things. People are also making a choice to donate to Chantal, but this is possibly why only three people did, because she's terrible. Anyway, I'm going to take that back, because she's fucking crazy. <laughs> have some kind Wild. of link to a donation site, like a PayPal. Oh, new to crazy. Hello, thank you so much for the super chat. I love it. Um, uh, new says, I've missed your lives. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks for being here. So funny, after a long day at the zoo and grilling, grilling out? Grilling out? I'm just going to assume you had a really big and, um, and by the sounds of it, amazing weekend. Crazy. Good to see you. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Sorry, I was reading like three people's comments at the same time. <laughs> Thank you very much for the support. I appreciate it, mate. Cash up, whatever. You know, we entertain your butts. So, like, we should get, um, we should get paid. We should get money. YouTube pays you, ma'am. And, you know, there's no shame in that. Like, it's not like I rely on... You lied. That's the thing, though. That's where the shame should come in. Chantal doesn't feel shame, so she doesn't know what the fuck that feels like. Um, that's where the shame should come in. You sat here with your whole chest and typed out a little a little text box for a video that said, I'm, I'm moving back to Kuwait, which 
spoke directly in opposition to what you had said the live stream before that, where you had said, I'm setting up again in Canada. It's really expensive. You know, I have to buy all new things. By the way, here's my, here's my PayPal if you want to donate. People are going to donate to you because they think that you're moving back to Canada. Why would you lie? On PayPal donations to like support me. So yeah, so that's totally not... Again, it's not to support you. It was to support your move back to Canada. It's the case. Um, there's no scamming going on. It is scamming. If I sit here and say, oh, you guys, I'm going to build a castle. I'm going... To, uh, we've had this conversation before. I'm going to go and build a castle in the sky and I need your help to do it. So there's a link down in my um, description. If you'd like to donate, please feel free. Um, but, you know, I really I really do need help. I do need help. It's very expensive building a castle in the sky. Um, and, you know, maybe I could have two castles in the sky. But it's, it's basically me starting all over again. And um, yeah, that castle in the sky won't build itself. So here's my donation links. What, is, what, what do you not understand about that being skeevy at least, scammy at best? Ridiculous. So yeah, so that's totally not the case. Um, there's no scamming going on. Um, uh, Nikki Name, good to see you, mate. I hope you're having a good weekend, Nikki Name. Uh, and thank you for the super chat. Nikki Name says... Pretty sure she's lying about only three people donating. See, rule number one. That's true. I mean, it could have been zero. It's probably more, though. Uh, I would literally set fire to a pile of cash before giving up any of it to foodie. You, on the other hand, are wonderful. Oh, thanks, mate. Have some cash. Thank you very much for the support, mate. I appreciate it, and thank you for, um, for being here. I hope you had a lovely weekend, and it's always a pleasure to see you. Thank you for the support, and yeah, boo Chantel. <laughs> it's just... It's... it's it is personal, though, because it, it's very much her attitude towards it. Like, she's she's entitled, rude, smug. Like, outside of all of the terrible things Chantel has done her, like, even this, like, Chantel thinking she's trying to be a, a decent person on camera, even this is insufferable. And I, I don't understand anyone who chooses to support Chantel in that way. Because it's just... Like, she's a bad, she's a bad person. <laughs> She's just about she's she's bad and rude, <laughs> to to say it plainly. You know, nothing of the sort. Nothing of the sort. I guess that's it for this video. That was a very delicious lunch. Thank you for eating with me, and I'll okay. see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Okay, bye. Enjoy your bubble guts. All right, chat. I know not everyone. We're, we're done with Rudy, by the way. If you're not here for Ambie, I totally understand. She's not everyone's cup of tea, but for some people, it's a joy to watch. If you'd like to hang out with me and watch. Emblem Reed, feel free. But if you're on the way out, if you'd like to hit the like button, that'd be great. Please and thank you. And I'll probably see you maybe in like... Like 30-ish hours? <laughs> anyway, it's time to get ears on. It's time to watch Ambie. We're going to watch her a little bit sped up because I want to check on my meal prep. 1.25. Sure. Big screen Ambie time. Let's go. But, um, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. So, I have not vlogged. Guys, so I, guys, 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 so. Oh my god, that's fun. I have not guys, 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 so I have not guys, so. I'll stop, I'll stop, I'm so sorry. Okay, but, um, as you guys know, in my last video, I said I wasn't on track for a few days. Okay, Abby, it's. Sorry, you have my full attention now. Total, I think I was off track about six days, <laughs> and I decided to weigh myself today. And it's like I have debated back and forth. Do I even want to post this? But okay. it's part of my life. It's part of what I've opened you guys up to, and so I'm going to show it. So um, here is me weighing myself today. All right, you guys. So I have not weighed myself since being off track. I currently have the water running, so it has time to get warm because it does take a minute. Well, it has time to get hot because I like a hot shower. So Why are we in the bathroom in the shower with you? What is what is going on? So that's what you hear in the background. So let's. When I'm definitely nervous. Does Amy realize that we don't need everything explained to us? Like we, like if we are hearing running water in the shower, in the bathroom rather, the assumption is the shower's running. Also, girl, don't waste water. Hello, it's ready. Okay, stepping on. Five hundred point six pounds. Five hundred point six. Which is an increase from four. Wasn't she in the four eighties? Wasn't she like four eighty nine? Didn't she like start crying the other day about being? In the 480s. Okay. Um, Ariel, hello. Thank you for the super chat, lovely. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a great day. Ariel says, just sending some love, Zach. Also, the Ambi remix. I'm a menace. I am a menace. <laughs> Thank you for the support. Just fun when you find a button that does a new thing, you know? <laughs> wow. Oh, 
She's back in the 500s, but 500.6, Marissa. Okay. I... Hmm. I need to go cry. So that's very unfortunate. I okay. am back in the 500s. And right. it's just like, I'm super swollen. I know I am. Like, I feel it on my legs. Not once did I, like, binge or anything like that. I do want to make that very well known. That I just, like, overate every single day. I thought we weren't doing that anymore. I'm very confused about the binging, pers my... personally. Like, I, I can't... I, I have been told, like, four different stories about Anne Boleyn's relationship with food and what the actual current situation type of deal is. So I I don't... I'm not following. It's hard to follow. My body was really... Oh, volume up. Okay, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Is she still drinking? Um, I don't know. Possibly. Truly just, like, getting used to and, like, adapting to the fact that I was eating below 2,000 calories. And then, bam, out of nowhere for almost a week, I stopped doing that. And I'm gonna say I was probably eating about 3,000 calories a day. And my body is like, whoa. So it's, you know, I've gained weight in sodium, I've gained weight in weight and fat and yeah. water, whatever it may be. But like, since I do have lipedema and lymphedema, um, my body- What happened to lipedema? It's onto water and fluid very, very easily. So I'm holding onto a lot right now. So me gaining that much weight in such a short amount of time. Oh, congrats, boob. That's awesome, well done. I am for some people would be very shocking for like the normal person, it's not possible unless you're eating so many calories, it's insane. But someone like me, it's rather easy for that to happen. Especially because when I was losing weight, like my legs haven't felt that amazing in so long. And what I mean by that is like, I had less fluid and like water retention than I've had in years. And it was just feeling so good. It was becoming like just easier to walk and just do things in general. Uh -huh. Now like that I've gained like 10 pounds, like I feel that in my- 10 pounds in a week. That's like four and a half kilos in a week. That is, that would be a shock to the system. Legs more than I feel it anywhere else. Um, I'm holding on to a lot of fluid currently. So it just yeah. sucks and I'm not happy about it, but I wanted to be transparent. And as you guys know, that is what I'm currently going through. The next day. It is wild. It is wild. Cause like often here, I, oftentimes I hear pounds and it doesn't really mean anything to me. But then I convert it into kilos, and when I say it out loud, I'm like, oh no, that's heavy. Good morning, everybody. I woke up with Rarity laying on top of me. Oh, cutie. Look at beans. Her cute beans. Her cute little paw. Her cute little face. Oh, yeah, that's a cute little face right there. Hey, guys. So I wonder how Julia's doing. I'm not fully done getting ready for the day. I want to wear my hair down. I do want to wear lipstick and stuff, but I did want to just come on here and tell you guys I did weigh myself today because I got back on track yesterday and I'm feeling. Did you not want to say this after you? Ready for the camera? I'm so confused about her choices. She just fucking word salad. I'm really good about it. So I want to add that here. Okay. Hi guys. I know I've been on camera for an hour and 24 minutes and I know I was a couple of minutes late, but you know, I'm always a little bit different, uh, late. Anyway, I thought it'd be different to wear these ears for you guys today. And I didn't brush my beard this morning, um, but that's okay. It's a little bit dry. Um, anyway, thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in, uh, to watch Amberlynn read here uh we did react to foodie beauty just earlier so if you'd like to watch that feel free to kind of go back but i understand like i'm not i'm not fully done for camera this is just kind of like it's a really comfy this shirt is actually quite comfortable um it's uh it's made by bonds did you know that actually this is a far more interesting conversation than amby you would ever have with camera what am i talking about sorry amby back to you so it is the next day after it's very rude but i find her incredibly dull being back on track <laughs> so let's see how the scale has reacted to that okay ready okay seven on need to be more insufferable <laughs> 498.2 pounds 498.2 okay thank the lord so i lost two pounds okay i'm very happy with that all right is the boogeyman so a bowel movement is yeah yeah okay here great. today not the boogeyman don't mess with me do not mess with me. There's a rumor that I- Oh, I find this incredibly cringe and terrible. I wear, but I- I find this sweater very fun though. Wear. What? That I use slimming filters, I promise. <laughs> Your girl be looking this big in person too. Amber uses face filters, we all know. It's fine, we know. Well, okay, I feel like it's a compliment in a weird way, cause it's like, why would people think that? But literally all I do is- Compliment, okay. I film- I'm, I use a beard filter. On my um, phone, I have an iPhone, by the way. Yeah. So I film on my phone yeah. and then I edit on iMovie and that's literally it. Like there's no filters. But then when I start hearing, oh, Amber Lynn is using skinny filters, I start to think like, do I look <laughs> like a little smaller than usual? Like I 
Girl, okay. <laughs> Alright. Sure. <laughs> sure. Whatever. Uh, okay. I don't know what's happening. I know I look like a frumpy mess today. I kind of feel like a frumpy mess. If we're being honest here. But no matter how much I say it that I'm not using a filter, no one's gonna- At least it's not the anime filter. <laughs> to be fair, I really enjoyed that one. <laughs> believe that. Um, the only time I use a filter, like, especially like when I post uh, photos and stuff, is like the double horns. That's a lie. She also uses the lashes filter. If you watch any of Ambie's TikTok, there's a filter on it that down in the bottom corner it says lashes. Um, it's to highlight her lash. Well, not highlight, but it's to, it's to, um, bol embolden? Sure, embolden um, her lashes and her eyeliner. I don't know why you'd lie like this. That's just like a fun filter that I just enjoy using. Um, I have been better about taking unfiltered photos. That's just like a, a me problem, you know, just like a self-conscious me problem. But I have been becoming more like confident in myself lately. And Ambie, you've been putting yourself on camera every, every other day for like 10 years. This is why the, there's a certain lie for Amberlynn in this that always gets me. Because she used to cry about everything and being online all the time and how nervous she was and how anxious she was and how camera shy she was and how she never used to she never used to be confident or comfortable in front of the camera or other people or whatever, whatever. She's been doing YouTube for ten years. Like she's she's been recording herself and editing content featuring herself for ten years. Why does she say this shit? She says it just to say it. Like she she literally says it just to have something to say. Oh, I'm not very confident. I, I don't like taking photos of myself that are unfiltered. I don't like... It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? You edit yourself on video every week. What are you talking about? I think it's because I am, you know, loving myself more. And I feel like the only way you can change and be a better you is if you love yourself. Because if you hate yourself, why are you going to want to fix yourself? You're not going to be able to find that why when you're in the middle of hating yourself. Because I know for me, I wasn't able to like improve as a person until I started to love myself and find that self-love. Because once you start to care about something, that's when you start to water it a little bit more and nourish it a little bit more in the way that you're supposed to. That's something sure. I'm working on and I'm trying to actively like improve on that every single day. So, you know, it's just a journey folks. But yeah, no slimming filters here. Definitely no filters to like, people say I'm using like skin filters too. No, this is my skin. I just have foundation on, so. Yeah, full coverage, I think. <laughs> people were saying that about just foundation. On tell too. <laughs> oh, we're bringing foodie up into this today. No, this is my skin. I just have foundation on, so. <laughs> uh -huh. People were saying that about Chantel too. <laughs> Ch Chantel uses quite a heavy degree of filters, Ambi. It's a lot of like, you know, everyone watches me and Chantel, you know, the reactors react to me and Chantel, and it's all the same rumors. Mm, we're just popular girlies. <laughs> We both use, you know, slimming filters. We both lie about our weigh-ins and rig the scale. And it's just a lot of You same. might, after Foodie's recent nonsense, you might not want to try to buddy up with her. Just FYI. <laughs> same nonsense, but I'm not going to be a part of that. Yeah, okay. I simply know who I am and that's all that matters, so. Okay, so my plans for today, I'm actually going to be babysitting my step- <laughs> Delulu, mama bear. Delulu niece and nephew so i'm getting ready to leave now so i'm just grabbing my purse and i also have to stop by usps to mail off some important things so that's what i'm doing okay so i just had my sunglasses on so that's why you see the little sunglass marks literally hate that okay so insufferable insufferable oh the usps like the guy was you guys i'm just sitting here like the sun is coming through and it's on my skin and that's why i've got that like that like lightness on this side of my face. Oh my God. God, we don't care. <laughs> it's parked right next to- I'm insufferable. Little like drop slot thingamajigger. So I just handed my actual like envelopes to him. And then as we were pulling out, like me and my mom, we both like equally have like weird anxieties and like paranoias. And we were like, why is he even sitting there? So then we were like, should we go ask him? So we ended up going back in. And then when we realized he actually is a USPS worker because he was like taking all of the um, things out of the little area where we like drop our stuff in you know what i'm talking about what is that thing called i don't even know what it's called but it's just weird because me and my mom like have the same weird anxieties we were like wait a minute like when we pulled away we're like who the heck and why the heck and why did we just give it to him so easily i don't know it was like a whole thing do you guys relate to that type of anxiety no no i don't if i see someone in like an australia post uniform next to a post dropbox 
I'm as and with a sack usually, I'm assuming they're taking the packages and parcels out of the box to then go to the sorting facility. So yeah, if there's a if there's someone who works for the postal company next to a post box with a sack, I'm going to assume I can give my letters to that post office worker and that it'll be fine. What the fuck are you talking about? Doesn't aren't you USP are USPS the 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 brown button down and the brown shorty shorts? Is that them? Is that their uniform? That that's so quirky, Marissa. <laughs> It's too much. It's too much quirk. It's too much. My hands up, mom. That's oh, that's UPS, not USPS. That's a different one. What's USPS? Is that white and blue? Could be Santa Claus. It's, that's true. She could have given her letters to Santa Claus. She wouldn't know. USPS is US Postal Service. They have blue uniforms. Ah, oh, I'm assuming they've got like the the like USPS like logo or something on them. Okay, well, UP UPS has a an iconic uniform. U USPS, maybe not so much. Can we just give it to him so easily? I don't know. It was like a whole thing. Do you guys relate to that type of anxiety? No. No, I don't relate to that type of anxiety. My hands up, Mom. <laughs> I'm a professional. A professional what? Guitarist. Guitarist? Yep. Professional badass. <laughs> Thank you. Why are we? Why have we got people's kids on camera? What's going on here? Where are we? I need some setup for this. What's going on? Also, why are we filming this? All right. So I have been home for a little bit. Yeah, I've you really didn't need to film that part. Had a great time. Now I'm just chilling like a villain. No, I'm actually editing this video, and I'm gonna schedule. Ah, she admitted she's a villain. Schedule it. Hear that, Mr. Snowflake? You're right. For two days from now, because I uploaded a video today. Or day after tomorrow. Yeah, that's in two days. <laughs> I really do want to try uploading more for you guys and I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job so far like especially in this last like week or a little over a week I feel like I'm where's where's Valentine and where's Valentine's where's the other girlies that you've been talking to we need side characters ASAP quick quick your channel's suffering we need a side character I've been doing pretty good it's just been a hard time like vlogging I don't know like it seems like when I have more going on in life I film less I don't know what that's about and I need to figure it out I need to figure out a balance Oh my god, just make interesting content, please. Just take us out. Go and do, Let's go and do something. A day in the life. What I eat in a day. My story time hour. Just something, for the love of God. Okay, you guys. So my TDEE -E has been a very popular topic lately. Sure. And if who's, been, who's been doing the math? Who's been doing the math? You guys don't know what that is. It's literally just like a little calculator where you put your height, your weight, and your gender, and it comes up with a calorie limit that'll help you lose weight. Yeah. But people are forgetting about everything else that goes into how easy it is for someone to lose weight and the amount- Did she say sedentary office job? Because that- <laughs> amount of calories that they need anyway. to lose weight. Anyway. So I kind of want to explain that to Let's talk about some numbers. Let's get lectured by Lynn. To you guys, and the best way for me to do it is to do it on paper. Sure. So as you guys know, I'm about 500 pounds. And you know, Ambie, with all of your time, you could probably put like a- a slideshow or something together for this part, not just written it down in a notepad. But I mean, this is Ambie's version of a slideshow. When I put just those simple things, 500 pounds, I have 5'3", and I'm a female, it comes up that I need 2,900 calories to lose weight. Right. And as you guys know, I have expressed this so many different times. Do you want to do the T uh, TDE calculator with her now? Let's hold on. Let's just check the facts. Facts, numbers, whatever. Um, she's 33, she's imperial female, 33, 500 pounds, 5'3", and I would consider her not sedentary. I would, oh, well, there's nothing below sedentary, so I guess so. Calculate, let's go. Um, right, so her maintenance calories are 3,531. Her basal metabolic rate is 2,942. So I don't know, maybe she's rounding up or down, who knows. Um, yeah, so... Sure, somewhere in between three and a half thousand and twenty nine forty two would be her caloric deficit. Sure, let's 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 start there with numbers being slightly off. That eating twenty nine hundred calories makes me gain weight. It does not make me lose weight. And then people call me a liar, but I would like to explain why. Okay, she's gonna lift. So okay. So when oh to lose weight, but I it, it is a slideshow. Call the lipedema specialist. She told me estimation. 
I have about 150 pounds of lip edema on my body. Okay. Large portions of that is on my legs, especially. Okay, so if we say you're 33 with 350 pounds, with like, sure, based on her argument, maintenance of 2,714 a day, base metal metabolic rate of 2,200. Great, got it, noted my calves but that weight is not taken into account when you go into a tdee calculator okay so with 150 pounds of lipedema i cannot lose that weight by lessening my calories i could it i'm not gonna say all of it no but it can't hurt can't hurt what did she say, tell us that the lipedema, lipedema, lymphedema specialists told her that she should be doing low, low sodium, was it low sodium, low fat or low sodium, low carb? I think it was low sodium, low carb, high water. Was that it? I think so. My thank you again for the super chat, lovely. My says, is she mansplaining the <laughs> dynamics to me? Yes. Yes. I see you've met, met lecture Lynn here. Yes. <laughs> Well, she's, she's saying that the specialist told her it's approximately, a, she's carrying 150 pounds on her legs. I would argue that that 150 pounds probably isn't all fluid, but she's saying the professional has given her that approximation. So sure, whatever. Like, listen to you professionals. Low sodium, low carb. I thought that was it because she, they also suggested she go in for lymphatic massages and stuff because that'll help all the fluids in her system move around and hopefully disperse. Um, but she's doing none of that, so... Yeah, I feel, I don't know, she's, she's at least counting calories. Look, we're starting somewhere. I not lose that weight, probably ever. Was low sodium, low carb? I thought so. And wasn't it, was it keto they were trying to convince her to look at? Was it keto or something else? I can't remember. Oh, this was, this was not that long ago. Oh my God, Blondie, hi, good to see you. And compression socks and therapy. Yeah, there's a long list of things that her specialists have told her she should engage with and she's not. Ever unless I get it surgically removed or I have the fat literally sucked out of me. So that would mean- But it's, it's like from every conversation I've had and everything I've read about lipedema, lipedema, lymphedema, etc. Like it's not impossible to get rid of. It's like, it's often referred to as stubborn fat. And yeah, like there is obviously liposuction and, and all of that, but that's why there's other treatments that can assist in moving that like fluid around. I, I just don't, I just don't understand. Like stubborn fat was the phrase that stuck with me. I was like, oh, okay. Interesting. Let's just say I put 350 calories in the sure, TDEE I did it calculator for you. because 500 minus 150 is 350. Okay, so she is lecture Lynn explaining math now, everyone. So that comes out to 21. Nikki name says it still counts towards your metabolism, you absolute numpty. <laughs> Look, we're doing ambi math today. <laughs> 100 calories, which I have explained several times that that is about. That's incorrect. That's also incorrect. 350 in the calculator gives you maintenance calories of 2,700 and basal metabolic rate of 2,200. Where are you getting 2,100 from? Ma'am, what the fuck are you, what, what math are you doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm so sure I'm using the same calculator she is. Whatever, it doesn't matter, sure. About the amount where I lose weight. That is why I tell you guys, I try to stay below 2000 calories and people are like, that's too little, I don't get it. She could eat so much and lose weight. That's not how it works. Right. Plus. Well, the other thing is, I mean, I'm sorry to break this to you, Ambi, but your lymphedema, lipedema, lymphedema is not being benefited by the fact that you eat fucking takeout like dinners all the time. Like those Amy's, those Amy's TV dinners and stuff, they will have high amounts of sodium in it. And you were advised that you should go on a low calorie, low sodium diet. And it seems to me you do consume a lot of salt, which sucks for retaining fluids. And if you have lipedema, lymphedema, lipedema, um, like holding onto fluid is only going to make that leg situation kind of worse. So maybe, maybe in this conversation, as well as counting calories, you could look at counting milligrams of salt because you're probably well over the recommended level of salt. And salt's hard, because I love salt. Salt's so tasty, but I also recognize that I eat a lot of salt. Um, so in Ambie's situation, she is used to eating those TV dinners and, like, deli meats and prepackaged shit all the time, and they have high levels of salt in them, because that's how they keep stable. 
Um, so, yeah, anyway. Anyway. I have <laughs> done a lot of yo-yo dieting, yeah. which is not taken into account when you do the TDEE calculator. I have a very... I, I don't love the fact that she's going to lecture us on metabolism now because the, the actual mechanics of, like, biological metabolism are so intricate and interesting and a lot of like a lot a lot of it's still not super like understood because like with metabolism also your age plays a factor like your meta like categorically i suppose your that age of your body affects your metabolism and it certainly slows down and your metabolism increases the more physical activity you do and the younger you are and like all of that kind of stuff and yes yo-yo dieting does impact your metabolism and as someone who's basically been dieting since they've been 12 off and on of fad diets um i yeah i i would agree that meta metabolism does change but like when you're talking about damage to metabolism which is i think what she's insinuating here with having a low meta metabolism due to yo-yo dieting i don't think it's as impactful as she's possibly trying to make it out to be but that's a that's a much bigger conversation for a healthcare professional to have because it's like metabolism is really interesting, but there are so many different factors that impact whether or not you have a lie, uh, a low or high metabolism. Like I remember being really interested in it and trying to research ways to increase metabolism, and there was a lot of hormonal conversation around that as well. Like testosterone, I think it's testosterone helps increase metabolism by increasing muscle mass, which has a hormonal impact on metabolism. Anyway, so very interesting science stuff. Have a conversation with a healthcare professional if you're interested, or a scientist, I don't know. Um, <laughs> crazy, thank you for the super chat. Crazy says, Amy is so boring in trying to explain how she can't lose weight for blah, blah, blah. Her math doesn't math, so that's why she doesn't lose weight. And stop, <laughs> stop with the salt. I mean, the salt is not helping her at all. Um, and the interesting thing is, like, for the last month, she's been telling us that things have been fine, and she did overall lose, like pardon me, 15 pounds in the last month or something, but it is interesting that she's managed to put 12 pounds, like, she's basically managed to reverse the entire month in a week, and that's wild. I think it'll probably be easier coming off, because, like, yeah, she does have the lipidema, lipidema, um, water weight conversation to have, but, but yeah, it is, I don't know, it is kind of wild. It is wild. Anyway, lots of wild things. Yadira, hello, thank you so much for rejoining the channel as a member, I appreciate it, mate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it low metabolism for several reasons <laughs> which of these things is she working on with a healthcare professional none of them i don't think she has it like she hasn't spoken about having a uh family doctor or general practitioner or whatever or seeing anyone in all of this so i don't know i think she was at her best place when she was preparing for weight loss surgery like she had all of those healthcare professionals she had a full team who were able to kind of look at all of these things and help her and give her advice and they even got her a, a catch up with the um lipidema lipidema lymphedema um, specialist, just saying that has now turned fun, um, who gave her all of this advice, but she hasn't taken any of the advice. She's just used it all as these are the reasons why I can't lose weight. And I was like, well, girl, you lost 15 pounds over the last month. Like you just got to keep doing that for the next however many years. And, and it's okay. Like it sucks, but it is what it is. Um, Lord Brooke, I see you, the monarch of shinies. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're having a fabulous weekend. Hello. Thank you for gifting 10 channel memberships. Welcome or welcome back to Savitri Balo, Nikki, hello. Jaden, New Day, Stormbird, Mixtus, hello. Venus, hello. Oscar, Poms, I think that's everyone. Please make sure you thank the lovely Lord Brooke for the gift. Thank you, Lord Brooke. Good to see you. Hello. Not only that, but I have gone through menopause at a very young age due yeah. to uterine cancer. And when your estrogen decreases, it causes weight gain. It does for a lot of people. And my hormone levels, let's, let's not even look into that because the TDEE calculator does not care due to me having uterine cancer no, it, it doesn't it's giving you just a kind of a general piece of advice on the laws of thermodynamics again and and as someone who hasn't dealt with half of this stuff like i can't speak on it but yeah your hormones do impact weight as does something like lipidema lipidema but girl like you're in a position where you could actively work on this with healthcare professionals instead of just because th all this reads is you are blaming all of these things for the reason why you can't lose weight. But in previous months, you've ch proven that you can. I don't understand what this conversation's about. And having a full... Oh, it's about her trying to lecture everybody, saying that she could eat more than she does and still lose weight. Right. She's blaming everything but her own doing. Yeah, essentially. Hysterectomy. My hormone levels are crazy out of whack which all of these things affect weight loss, 
weight gain, your weight in general, and how many calories you need to eat to lose weight. Okay, but what happened, like, what happened to health, like, sorry, what happened to weight loss gurneys five years ago? Ten years ago? What happened to, like... Okay, like, we, we understand you're not in a great health space now at the moment. I, I okay, whatever, I don't understand what this argument is about. So, have you guys ever seen a skinny person eat tons of food with little to no activity, but they never gain weight? No, I generally don't. What, is this a conversation about metabolism? <laughs> well, that's because every single body is different. Yeah, we know. And not only that, but there is metabolic rate testing. Yeah. And the reason why they have that is because everyone is different. So it's a machine where you literally just blow your oxygen into the machine. Wow, someone really got to her talking about TDE this week, didn't they? It'll tell you exactly how many calories you need to eat to lose weight. Okay. And they do that because of all of these reasons. There are so many people. Girl, if you're saying that eating 1,800 to 2,000 calories is working for you, fucking do it then, mate. Like, the concern about you eating 2,000 calories was, I think, less about the fact that you could eat 3,000 and lose weight, and more about the fact that you lectured us about your relationship with food so for so long that the entire audience thought, hey, it might not be a good idea to go from eating 4,000 calories to 2,000 calories because of your relationship with food and, and your reaction to all of that. Not this. I don't think it had anything to do with all of this, but okay. <laughs> Um, crazy, thank you for gifting five channel memberships, I appreciate it, mate. Uh, welcome or welcome back to Ploppy, Budgie, Nikki, Metallica, and Parker. Lovely to see you all. Please make sure you thank the lovely new to crazy for the gifts. Thanks, mate. Who go through these things and they can't lose weight quick enough. They don't understand what they're doing wrong. Well, Jewel, that's the thing. Like, when I was on a severe calorie deficit, there was, like, there was a period of probably three months where I, I knew my metabolism was really strong. And then as I was getting smaller and smaller, my metabolism was, like, I knew that it was smaller, like, it was slower, rather. It just felt slow. I wasn't hungry for anything. I had very little energy, like, all of that stuff. Um, but, yeah, I don't, I, I, I just don't know. I don't know what this, I don't know what this argument is trying to prove. Something. Because of things like a TDEE calculator, who only wants simple things like your gender, your height, and your weight. But never takes into account everything else. Okay, great. Well, if you want guidance on what calories you should consume, go and speak to a healthcare professional who can explain all of this. But again, if 1,700 to 2,000 calories is working for you, great gal, go for it. There are so many other reasons why it's hard for people to lose weight. And it's like some people have thyroid problems. Thankfully, I don't. Sure. But this is why when people tell me about the TDE calculator, I, I simply roll my eyes. Because okay. there's so much more to it than just the gender and height that I am. Wow. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Okay. Bye. Whatever. <laughs> sure. We, we fully acknowledge that not everybody should be on specifically the calorie number that TD calculators give you. I think that everybody's very aware of that, but you also need to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight. Maybe she's arguing that her calorie surplus is much lower than everybody assumes and that she was only eating 3,000 calories to gain 12 pounds in a month. It's not really all that interesting, Amby. If you want to make, like, health... Or if you want to make your content all about your health, go for it. But, like, people will have questions. Maybe just, like... Maybe you can explain it without being rude. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see, who have we got here? Sorry, chat, I just missed everybody. Uh, Lord Baroque, thank you for being here for 13 months. Baroque says, octopuses have three hearts. Oh, the more to love you with. Thank you. For being here, mate. Mama Bear, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Mama Bear says, Ambi diagnosed with terminal uniqueness. Nothing to be done, you guys. My meds affect my weight, but I'm not giving a TED talk. Yeah, well, there you go. I mean, Ambi, Ambi has certainly leaned into lecture in on this piece of content, which is just really, really fun and makes her so likable. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. And Annie, I hope you have a fabulous night, mate. Thank you for the super chat. Annie says, now you know what it's like to be me or the judge when the other side is a self-representing litigant. Trust me, a PowerPoint makes it worse. But it shows effort, Annie. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, lovely. All right, chat, I'm off. I gotta go check on everything. So you guys make sure you have a lovely afternoon, evening, night, weekend, whatever it is. I can't wait to see you on Monday. I hope we have some lovely content to talk about. Please make sure you take care of yourself um, and the birds. Wear your sunscreen, get your steps in, drink your water, have a nap, a snack, sleep well. Um, and thanks for hanging out with me. You guys are wonderful. Uh, for those of you on the rewatch, I appreciate your comments, opinions, and eyeballs chat. If you'd like to hit the like button on the way out, I very much appreciate that too. Have a fabulous day, and I'll see you in the next video. 